Hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, it is Monday, April 20th. And uh, you may be thinking, wait, Miss Smith, you said there was no school. And there isn't, because there's no school today. However, I told you that there might be some very important news coming. And I told you that I would post it um, today. And I was right. So I'm posting this today for you. So big important news, big important announcement, which most of you have probably heard already, but just to give you a heads up. All right, according to the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, all the Florida schools are closed for the rest of the 2019-2020 school year. The campuses still means you have e-learning and still means you still need to get a grade for this fourth quarter. So that means all of your classes are going to be solely online for the rest of this year, the school year. What that means for all sorts of things like grade enhancements and um, making sure that, you know, you get all that done. Um, if you are in one of those categories that you're trying to make sure that you do pass this year, um, your teachers, your administrators, a lot of the information will be coming out to your parents and you very shortly this week about um, what's the next step, what does that look like. We have not been cleared yet to start planning for something like summer school or even summer workshops or anything. We have no idea what's so far. Um, according to most of the projected models coming out of the White House and the federal government, it looks like we won't be able to come out of our quarantine status here in the um, state of Florida until January, uh, sorry, no, June, June 4th. Don't worry, guys, not January, June 4th, which, yes, being in school, the last day of school is May 29th. That's why they officially pulled uh, all of us being on campus. So it's not going to happen. Now, for those of you guys who are seniors or have friends who are seniors or brothers and sisters who are seniors or whatever, um, graduation, yes, for our school is supposed to be May 29th. That's obviously not happening. Now, as of right now, the most recent news that I have is the fact that they have rescheduled graduations for July. Um, there's a, a week in July that they have, or actually it's about 10 days in July, that the Hillsborough County has scheduled for the Florida State Fairgrounds for our tentatively for graduation. Now, if all the quarantine stuff lifts because we've flattened the curve and we're coming on the other side and we're able to maintain this and they're able to allow us to do mass gatherings, um, and if you've seen any of the information about the different um, kind of getting back to normal plan, the federal government is releasing about the phase one, phase two, phase three. Um, if we are in that stage in July, we will have graduation in July. Yes, you're technically done, but let's be honest, that graduation ceremony is really important. So um, may not necessarily be important to you, but it's important to your families. It's important, and it will be important to you in, general, in a few years, I promise you. Um, because I know right now, especially those of you guys with senioritis, you just want to be done, you want to go, you want to move on. Just believe me, take a moment, reflect, reminisce. And honestly, we are going to need that time to gather once again with um, classmates and friends and our um, wonderful school family. So um, keep those prayers and positive thoughts going. Stay healthy so that we can move through this and then see each other on the other side. Um, for graduation guys. Now, as far as if you have left something at school, like some of you guys have lockers or you've left stuff in classrooms or something like that, they will be um, working on a plan to let us as well, we have classrooms to clean out, um, <laughs> I have personal stuff to left for the school for Pete's sake, um, what that looks like, I don't know yet. What that means for yearbook distribution, I don't know yet. So we are, I'm still waiting on, on information. Um, you can still buy your books. We're still going to have them. We're still working on um, the last minute uh, edition, especially for those seniors. You guys are aware of a senior supplement. So keep buying those yearbooks. Uh, I'll include a link below in the description and with some more information links. So please look at the description below for all the information. So I know it's a lot of announcements right now. We still don't know a lot. I'm just telling you what we know. What we know is no on-campus schooling, but we're gonna make some concessions to make sure that things get finished for this year. There's a lot of stuff to finish up for this school year um, in the meantime, and it's gonna work, you guys. We're gonna make this work. Just be flexible, 
be um be willing you guys have been great so far you guys are doing a really really good job so keep it up if you have any questions at all leave them below send me an Etsy message whatever i will try to get you an answer as soon as i possibly can um i hope you're having a great you know end of your weekend and just to tie that in today of course is national cheddar fries day and I honestly wish I had some cheddar fries to share with you um, right now. I do not, but I know what I'm totally having for lunch today. So I am going to go and do some delivery, support a local business in my neighborhood and get some cheddar fries to celebrate Cheddar Fries Day, guys, because, yeah, that's awesome. So my question for you is, what is your favorite fries topping? Now, you may be a total purist and you're going to say, salt or you may say ketchup or you may be one of those really strange people that say mayonnaise they're out there guys um or you may be like i love like loaded fries just like chili and cheese and bacon bits and green onions and tomatoes and sour cream and oh my gosh now i'm hungry whatever so my question is what is your what do you think is the best fries topping and I have to say, and I'm thinking about this, and I've been thinking for a while because I knew this was coming today. And I have to say, I think I like the the bacon bits and the the what everybody calls plastic cheese. You know that kind of like nacho cheese that you get that really when it kind of glosses over and kind of hardens, but it's so good. You know, it has that lovely yeah. So cheese and bacon. I'm gonna have to add bacon to my cheddar fries today. So. Um, so go support some local businesses um, or make your own. Um, tell me what kind of fries you guys are having or dreaming about having today on National Cheddar Fries Day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new school week of e-learning. So enjoy the rest of your three-day weekend today. Um, and as, again, like I said, as soon as I know more information, you're going to know more information. So stay tuned, stay commenting. Stay healthy, guys. Miss you. Bye.